I am Carrie Raymer Bishop and I am the woman behind Bishop Family Bees. I am also known as the honey lady in town and people like to come to my door and pick up honey which I love 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 um, and this is my bee yard. So I have recently scaled back down just to one bee yard that is hosted by a lovely family who live right along the Grand River so we have a pretty sweet spot here for my bees and we've got 10 hives going here actually 11 hives going here because I have a new surprise hive um, where bees took up residence in a stack of boxes I was storing so I have one new big hive thriving there in the bushes. People often ask me what the hard part is with beekeeping or what my main job is. Um, other than stealing honey from millions of angry bees, I also care for the bees throughout the year. I make sure that they are ready going into winter with lots of honey stores. I feed them sugar water if they need it. Um, I know that makes some people cringe, but it's actually just the purest form of, of nectar to get into them before winter. Um, so white sugar and water made into syrup. I often am found at my kitchen stove making fondant for my bees, <laughs> extra special treatment going into winter. Um, the bees would thrive without me, um, but they would be living in a hole in a tree somewhere or they would be taking up residence in your garage wall um, or, or some other place. So this is, I offer them some pretty nice condos actually to live in and um, they reward me by giving me a share of honey each year. So I come out every couple weeks or so um, just to check on them, uh, make sure they're healthy, uh, make sure they have enough space. If they get crowded, they're going to swarm and then you're going to call me because there are bees in your garage. And so I try and give them lots of space uh, to breathe and to spread out, to not overheat. If that queen is laying, she needs room. If those bees are bringing in lots of nectar and pollen, they need room. So we want to make sure that they've got space to expand. So that's what I do. So people ask me what I love about Paris, which is kind of funny because I regularly ask people that question as well, and what they love about Paris. For me, when I first moved here, I used to tell people I lived in Paris, but the close one, not the good one. Um, and my answer has changed over the years because I found that this is a really great Paris. I, I found so many wonderful people. I think there's a real sense of community. I've certainly found my people um, in Paris. I love the thriving art scene and the music. Um, I can't get enough of the trails and the nature and the rivers. We have two rivers. Come on. Um, I live in a really great neighborhood where people are kind and I jokingly said to someone the other day it's just like Pleasantville. Um, only not quite so fake and I just appreciate that this is this is home. I've lived all over the world and this is home for me now. So good Paris.